hi guys welcome to my youtube channel i am the lifestyle of okay coach guys this is another beautiful day of music reaction and i guess you're doing great guys today i'll be reacting to why is the quran a miracle why is the quran a miracle i believe that is going to be a very educative one in this um video and i want all of us to just sit down attentively let's listen to this video i believe that we are going to learn one or two things from this um video actually i'm a theologian and also a christian i believe in the master of jesus christ and i'm doing this video not to discredit anyone's religion it's just mainly for educational purposes it will help some of us it can actually help somebody to kind of learn about islam so even if you don't believe in the religion at least you should be able to like at least understand one or two things about um islam which probably if at the end of the day you feel like that's the best religion for you so be it but then we don't have to look at it from distance but then it is a very good thing for you to come in understand what islam is all about and i think it will really really help some of us at the course of this video i'm not going to post it i'm going to listen it from the beginning to the end and understand what uh this very video is talking about from there i believe that i'm going to learn one or two things from it so guys if today happens to be the first time of you checking out my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my facebook and instagram and if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so guys let's get down to the video All right, why the Quran is a miracle? Guys, let's check it out. In Islam, faith is not blind. It is based off knowledge and rationality. When Muslims are asked why they believe Islam is the truth, they respond by saying the Quran is the proof. But when they are asked to explain how, it can be difficult to give a satisfying answer because there is just so much that can be said. So, how is the Qur'an a miracle? Allah revealed a verse in the Qur'an affirming that he would protect his revelation from ever being corrupted 1400 years ago. If you think about it, this is a huge claim to make, yet we find the Qur'an remains completely unchanged after all these years. No matter where you are in the world, the Qur'an is one and no two Muslims disagree. In another verse, Allah says that he has made the Qur'an easy to learn and asks if there will be anyone that will learn it. Every single generation since the Qur'an was revealed has had memorizers, making it the only book to have passed down in human memory. Considering most Muslims don't understand the language, the speed at which they can learn the Qur'an is almost unbelievable. To give you an idea, imagine memorizing a page of Chinese in a matter of half an hour. Today, there are more than 100 million memorizers of all its 600 pages, word for word, letter for letter. You might be asking, why is the Qur'an in Arabic if most Muslims aren't Arabs? Well, Allah tells us why in many verses. In one, he says to remove any crookedness or confusion, and in another, so that it may be perfectly clear. We now know that Arabic is one of the most eloquent languages that delivers incredible depth and precision with the least amount of words. In Arabic, one single word can translate into a full descriptive sentence. If the Qur'an was in English, it would have to be thousands of pages thicker, if not more, just to carry a close enough meaning. The effect that the Qur'an has on those who listen to it being recited can easily be seen from the thousands of reaction videos on YouTube. It literally brings people to tears, despite them not understanding the language. Guess what? Allah explicitly told us that people would react like this 1,400 years ago. In the fourth chapter, Allah presents an open challenge. He says, Do they not reflect upon the Qur'an? 
if it had been from anyone other than Allah, they would have found in it much error and contradiction. 14 centuries of critics have passed, and not a single error or contradiction can be found, despite great advancements in knowledge. Allah has placed many scientific subtleties in the Qur'an for us to reflect on. For example, the Big Bang that describes the creation of the universe starting from a single point, or the expansion of the universe that was discovered in the last 50 years. To give you an idea of how much of a breakthrough this was, Stephen Hawking said that this was one of the great intellectual revolutions of the 20th century. This was explicitly mentioned in the Qur'an 14 centuries ago. More signs include every living thing being made of water, and mountains as pegs, standing firm and stabilizing the earth from shaking. Amazingly, Allah mentions two seas that meet but don't mix, one fresh and sweet, the other salty and bitter, and between them being a barrier, all of which science has confirmed. Allah states how the human is formed, which we have found is in the correct chronological order. Particularly, Allah describes the embryo in shockingly accurate detail. The famous Professor Keith Moore admitted this information could not have been known by man 1400 years ago. Of the historical signs in the Quran include the preservation of the Pharaoh of Egypt. Both the Bible and the Qur'an mention that he drowned after Moses, peace be upon him, parted the sea. But the Qur'an also makes a very unique statement not found in the Bible. Allah says that he will preserve his body and save it as a sign for future generations. The Qur'an describes the location where the Persians defeated the Romans as the lowest land. Not only have historians derived that the battle took place near the Dead Sea, Scientists have confirmed that this location is in fact the lowest point of land on Earth, 417 meters below sea level. The Quran is full of stories of previous prophets. Not many people know that Moses peace be upon him is the most frequently mentioned name. The Quran also narrates many stories about Jesus Christ peace be upon him. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is regarded as one of the best women to walk the face of the earth, and has a whole chapter to herself. Why these story signs? Because there is no way they were plagiarized. In that time, there was not a single library or translation of the Bible available. There are also many linguistic miracles in the Quran. Modern research shows that the Quran follows a remarkable structure called ring composition. Let's take chapter 2 of the Qur'an as an example. This chapter can be split into nine groups based on the theme of the group. The first group mirrors the last group, the second group mirrors the second to last group, and so on. What's more is that there are sub-rings inside each group. In other words, rings inside of rings. If we look at group 8, we find yet another ring inside of that ring. There are also countless other occurrences in the Qur'an, such as the word day, in its singular, being mentioned 365 times, and the word month, 12 times. The word life is mentioned the same number of times as death, angels, the same number as devils, good deeds, the same as bad deeds, and belief, the same as disbelief. These are only just a few examples. Additionally, the Qur'an describes death, the day of judgment, heaven and hell in such vivid detail. In fact, you can hardly find a page in the Qur'an that doesn't mention the day of judgment. All of that whilst presenting a complete way of life for us to follow. In Islam, anything that causes harm is not allowed, and everything that is beneficial and good is encouraged. Why is there harm? Because life is a test. Allah says in the Quran, he who created death and life to test which of you are best indeed. Islam develops your character, it teaches you how to carry yourself and how to be in control, Islam protects and empowers women, it eliminates racism, terrorism and all oppression. A good Muslim 
is one who people feel safe around from their actions and words. One who people trust and one who people look up to. A huge part of understanding why the Quran is a miracle is understanding how it was revealed. The Quran came down over 23 years in spoken form. It was not written down. Once verses came down, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, recited them and his companions memorized them. Unlike any other book, the Quran did not go through an editing process. Once the verse was spoken, it was done. That was the final version. The verses were not revealed in order, starting from chapter 1, verse 1, 2, 3, and so on. The chapters and verses were revealed out of sequence. Furthermore, they could not be planned ahead of time. They were revealed as a result of life experiences that were out of the Prophet's control, such as enemies challenging him or the believers asking him life questions. To summarize, the Quran has been perfectly preserved and unchanged for 14 centuries whilst excelling linguistically, scientifically, historically and mathematically. It has a profound impact on those who listen to it and is memorized and recited by hundreds of millions of people worldwide. It brings forth a complete way of life and fills the hearts with peace and purpose. Humanity is yet to rise to its challenges, as Allah promised, and it's safe to say that no matter what angle you look at the Qur'an, it shows no weakness. Allah says, if you are in doubt, then produce even a chapter like it. Then he says, call upon your witnesses. In other words, go ahead, work in a team, gather all of humanity and try your best. He then seals the challenge by saying, if you do not, and you will never be able to. 1400 years have passed and no book or text or speech in any language comes close to competing with the quality, eloquence and perfection of the Quran. A lot of people think if they follow Islam, they're going to deprive themselves of things they would have otherwise enjoyed. Actually, the opposite is true. Allah tells us that if we live life by his book, burdens are lifted and life becomes so much better and easier. The freedom, peace and harmony found in the heart of a true Muslim cannot be described until it is experienced. Allah has given us countless signs. Will we continue turning our backs? A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Sanurihim Ayatina Fil Afaqi Wa Fi Anfusihim Hatta Yatabayyana Lahum Hatta Yatabayyana Lahum Annahu Al Haqq Wow, this is beautiful. The Quran is truly a miracle. After listening to this video, this message, it kind of change your perception. You try to be rational in your thinking, and then it makes you to be able to see reasons to why the Quran is a miracle. You know, living the Quran in Arabic was one of the reasons why people still believes in what prophet muhammad teachings because when you look at it from this um quranic uh, the quran as a miracle you got to realize that the quran was preserved in its original form which was what in arabic and that makes it in a sense very difficult for people to find error in it because when you should compare it with uh, my faith, for instance, Christianity, is because of trying to what uh, translate it to other uh, languages was one of the reasons why some errors in the stand here were found in some places, and then at the cost of the translation, it would make it to change its meaning of what maybe god was trying to say or allah is trying to say because of in trying to maybe translate it it's not give that in-depth uh, meaning in which god was trying to pass 
but then anyway at the cost of it it makes me to be able to at least learn a lot about uh, the Quran I was able to learn about life I was able to learn about death I was able to learn about judgment I also learned about hell well this is great and then this make up um, one of the fundamentals just as a Muslim or as a Christians because we all believe that there is life we all believe that there will be dead and we all believe that there will be judgment and now in according to how you live your life we determine to whether you make it to paradise or not that's why when I was um, listening to the inspirational emotional Quranic um, recitation it was making reference to the kind of life we live here or not the life we live on earth will determine to whether you are going to make it in heaven and then it makes you to understand that at the judgment day you are going to give an account whatever life you live here or not everything in this time will be shown just like you're watching it in the television you're going to see everything you're doing while you're here or not and you're going to give an account of it and you know one dangerous thing that you should kind of face as a human being is to actually be judge you know because actually for some of us and then for the kind of life we have lived we believe that we must have offended god in one way or the other and then for you to commit sin the sin is not only about what you physically do it sometimes it could be something that you actually conceive it thus far um christian um religion and belief we believe that uh, you can actually commit a sin, not actually by doing it, but maybe by imagining it. You know, at the cost of imagining it, of course, you can kind of commit sin, even though we have a grace. As for we Christians, we have a grace, which is through our Lord Jesus Christ, that when you believe in him, because he has sacrificed himself for my sake and for your sake, for that note, on that grace, you can be able to be saved from the sin but then in islam is not like that though it's all about what prayers so that makes some people feel like you know when you be when you are a, a muslim it's kind of a little bit difficult for you to be able to practice the religion some people normally cite this uh, as an example they will say that as a muslim they do pray five times in a day they watch they pray why all they're trying to do is what to ask god for forgiveness in any way they have sinned so as to avoid sin but as for christians it's not uh the same thing it's not as same as of a uh, muslim you don't have to pray five times of course you can pray and of course as a christian it does not actually says that this is the right time we should pray but then we have been expected that we should pray all time it's not that we, uh, it should, has to be five times and then i know that a lot of christians may not or actually pray even some manage to pray maybe once in a day and some don't even pray at all depending on how they they see it yeah so and then uh but as for muslim is kind of different and then at the cost of preserving the quran it makes it very very easy that's why you can't really find an error in the quran the only difference between us is just that um the christians don't believe in the teachings of prophet uh muhammad likewise the muslims don't believe in jesus christ as the son of god these are just the two differences because the muslim feels like jesus christ was just a prophet and then him being a prophet is just like uh shall i say an abomination for you to say that you are a son of god or should they say insinuate because jesus christ didn't really say it by himself so that's how um islam or should i say some people uh believe in it but all the same this is bounds to all everybody what thought and opinion anyway i so much enjoyed this uh quranic uh miracle it was so beautiful i was able to learn a lot in islam and it was actually a good thing you know i'll kind of recommend some of you to kind of check out these videos you can kind of learn one or two things about um islam so guys this is the end of my video if you like my reaction you should like share and subscribe and if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so guys remain Bless. Assalamu alaikum.